everybody, it's Blue Sky Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Angel Wings bracelet. So, yeah, um, I designed this bracelet about a month ago, maybe a little more than a month, yeah. Five weeks ago, here's what it looks like, and I love the way it looks, I think it looks so pretty. And, um, if you want to check out a similar design, then you can always go check out G the Lobster Lives. He has a tutorial for his Eagle Wings bracelet, which is very similar to this one. So, I did lose the bracelet that I made, that the bracelet I used in this pic, that picture. But I just made a few sections, like two sections, of a new one. This is what it looks like. And I love it. This is the color combo I'm going to be using today. I'm going to show you how to make these two sections. And I love it so much. It's a hook only design, so it is kind of complicated, and there are a lot of risky kind of things where you have to take off the band and just kind of let it lay there and hope it won't unravel. But it's very, it's worth it. I love this bracelet, and this is definitely one of the most requested tutorials yet. So, please um, be sure to like, comment, and Angel Wing bracelet, you are going to need a hook, because it is a hook only design. I suggest using a double-sided crochet hook, however, um, I'm going to be showing it on the rainbow Loom hook today, because I'm guessing a lot more people have those than double-sided crochet hooks. However, it is very easy to get a double-sided crochet hook, or even a regular crochet hook. All you have to do is go down to your local um, craft store, or your Michaels, yourself one. I don't think they're too expensive. I think they're like anywhere from $2 to $4 and they may even be less expensive than that. I haven't bought, a, I bought one for myself yet so they might be a little bit more or even a little bit less but I guess they're somewhere around there. For, you're also going to need rubber bands. You're going to need I guess you could wrap it around more than once, but I'm just wrapping it around once this time. Now you're going to take the same color and just pull it through. And then put both sides back on the hook. So you have this. Now you're going to take the color you're going to use for the actual wing part. And on my phone, that would be... This is the greenish color. These are the wings. And you're, I'm going to be using white pearl today. And you're just going to loop this first purple link onto the white pearl. Not expecting that to happen. Onto the white band. Why does this here? I have a better way of doing that. Onto the white band. Placing the white band back on its hook. You're going to do this three more times with this last band here. So, grab one here, loop through, place one out right here. Now I have a cold, so if that's if you hear sniffly sounds in the background, that's just from my cold. And anyway, so then this is the third time I'm doing it. Now this is where a double crochet hook would be helpful because instead of having to take it off and place it on the other side, you're, you would just have to slide this down to this end. And yeah, that's, I don't know, that just seems easier to me. But if you're doing this on a rainbow loom hook like I am, you're going to take all these bands, pinch them, Carefully slide the hook out and then slide. 
divided in in the opposite direction. Have to do it upside down. Okay, well, now I have it on, and you should have the first part. So now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go forward one. So, you're just gonna grab that and link the purple thing. Now, you wanna keep one side on your thumb because we're gonna add the two links in the center. So, you can either let it hang there, and that would probably be and then take a pink band in the center. And you can pinch that white while you put the pink on. And you're going to do one more. So you can let the white go for a second. Put the pink on. Grab the white again. Slide the pink band through and onto the hook again. And then place the white band back on your head. And it should look like this. So you should have this little wing part here. Two links in the middle and then one band here. Now we're going to make the wing. So we're going to add three links on this side. One. Two. the heart. And the heart, um, get to it. The heart on my Instagram picture is, like, the heart is the pink and silver part right here. So, ooh, I gotta like on my picture, but that does not matter right now. So, yeah. Now you're going to just take a green band, that's the color I'm using for my heart, slide all the white bands on this side on, and then slide the first pink link from this side on, and then place this other green band on your hook. So this is how it should look now. Now we're going to loop it around, so you're going to pinch all of these, and there's so many bands, so be very, very careful. Go through. Like so. And now another green band. That loops through all the rest of the bands, except for those two green bands on your hook so basically just loop a band through all except the green bands on your hook. That you have something that looks like this. Now we're just going to carefully slide this on it. Make sure one finger is always holding on to that. Grab a glitter or the inside of your heart rubber band and loop it through the first two green links. Place this base, well, both sides on the hook, and then place the green side back on the hook. And you should get this. And that's the end of the first link. So you're going to take another transition band and loop it through everything. And that's how you make your first link. And you're going to do that again, and I'm going to show you one more time. And then you can go off on your own and make as many links as you want. Um, yeah, I for my wrist, my wrist is actually pretty small. Um, not super small, but it's like super small. And it takes me about 10 links to go around my arm. So you will need a bunch of links to go around. Because it only covers... Oh, no, never mind. It takes about 6 links. I'm thinking of a totally different person. It takes about 6 links to go around my arm. Two. Gonna do the 
use four times. Three. Whoa. Okay, I don't know what that was. But whatever. Probably was just a car. So now, we're going to do the same thing we just did, pinch all the rubber bands, and slide them off your hook, and then slide them back on in reverse order so you get this. And then we're going to loop the first white pearl band on, leaving one side on our thumb. And we're going to do this three times. So, oh no, never mind. I messed up. And then you're going to do another link. Sorry about that. Oh. So basically you just add a single chain on to the next link. And then you're going to do three to right here. So one. put them on in reverse order so that you get this and then you're going to grab a green rubber band again and loop all of the bands except the green band onto another green a glitter band, carefully still holding on to this green band, slide the glitter band onto the first two green bands, oh there's a bug, ah, I hate it I am filming outside so if there's bugs don't be worried, it's just because I'm outside, and then you just loop it on like this, and you get this. Take another rubber band, loop it on, and now you can start a new section. So you get this in total. Um, I love the way this looks, and yeah, so you can obviously add more sections. 